Um, yeah, probably a really good first half uh, defensively. Uh, we held them to a lot of shots we wanted them to take. We forced them into a lot of uh, bad situations. I thought we really did well in the first half. I think we need to continue that um, effort into this game. Um, I think we're a different team too. I don't think any team stays the same um, during the season. I think every team goes through changes. Uh, they changed. We've changed. Uh, it's two different teams. We got our approach like that. How do you feel like you guys have changed? Just grown, evolved. I feel like we've um, we've figured out some things. Um, obviously, like last game. Um, there's a lot of negatives to take from that, but I don't think it's fair to judge a team off of one game. Uh, I think uh, we've done a lot of things uh, offensively, and um, like we're just a sharper team. What do you, you know, I, I know how you feel about some of those uh, turnovers on Sunday, but is there something where you were seeing they were able to time you up to, to try to strip the ball there, or something? You yeah, out of that? Um, it's something I've been work, watching on film. I'm definitely ready for if a team. Obviously, a team can try it again. I'm not. Uh, I'm not dumb. Like, the team's going to try whatever to try to stop me, so I'm going to see that again, and i got to be ready for it. You guys have done a pretty good job because you're bouncing back from loss. Is there something about this team that's just kind of naturally buoyant? Is that experience? Is that maturity? Is that... Uh, I think we're just a group of competitors. Uh, no one likes to lose two in a row. Um, we got one at home here. Uh, I think everyone kind of knows like what um, – how important it is to bounce back from a loss. Um, everyone understands, uh, and everyone's going to approach this game like that. How do you guys process kind of the nature of reaction of things when you guys lose? Like, I mean, it's the same for UConn. It's the same for all these other teams. You know, yeah. When you lose, it's a bigger deal than it really is. Yeah. Um, I think people like to judge teams based off their most recent game. Um, obviously, like every team can have, has a bad game. Every player has a bad game. Every like it, it, it's we're not robots. Like we're not robots. Like everyone, we're human. We have bad games. We play bad games. We make dumb mistakes. Um, but to judge a team off of one game, I don't think it's really fair. Uh, people are going to do it. Um, it's just the nature of the thing. I don't really doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother the team. Um, we just were on a nine-game win streak, and then we lose one game. We're the, wor we're the worst team in the world. So it's just, I think people. A lot of people have a lot of respect for us. Um, we're just a group of kids who are under under recruited, underappreciated. I feel like we're a team of underdogs, and uh, people don't like that we're at the top because because we're underdogs. Um, so people can try to tear us down, but it's not. People are gonna say what they're gonna say. People have said what they're gonna say about me for the last three years. It doesn't affect anything I've played. Speaking of that. Ethan's a guy who's helped you win in a variety of ways over the last few years. You know, a couple years ago, he took a lot more shots. He's become more of a defensive player, and now he's getting the ball in the right situations. How has he kind of evolved to just do different things and, and kind of help you off the bench? Yeah, he's he's sacrificed more than anyone I've seen on this team. Um, we all know what type of player he is. Um, he knows what type of player he is, but he's taking he's taking in a role, and he's accepted that role on the team. Um, kind of, and you've seen it on the court. Um, I think it's a lot of credit to him, a lot of credit to the person that he is, that he can, in his senior year, you can accept a role like that. Um, and he can just, he's just all about winning. That's really, really who he is. A couple of instances here, the last couple of games, where you and Trey really seem to be clicking together and you're, you're kind of cross, cross lane passing and things like that. Is that smoothing out a little bit? Is that really starting to kind of come together? Yeah, like I said, it's just part of the, like the kind of the team's evolution. Um, I've never really played with another big before. I mean, I played with Caleb last year, but he didn't really play in that kind of big role. Uh, he was more on the perimeter, whereas Trey Coffin will post up, will run post up plays for him. Um, I think kind of learning how to play off him, um, learning how, like, how to get him into positions to succeed, um, like how to use his gravity as a role man or as a, um, as a diver when I get the ball in the post. Um, it, it takes time, but I think it's, it's something that's come along. I've noticed you. Got another tattoo on your forearm like, there. Would you, would you mind explaining and kind of you know what's the story behind that? Yeah. So when I was back for Christmas break, um, my brother had really wanted to get like a family tattoo. Um, so originally it was just gonna be we all wanted to get like, a yin yang symbol, which is that's what this is. Um, but then I kind of had the idea like, what if we all just like drew our own and then got the tattoo? So we all drew each, each one. I just wanted the basic, basic yin yang. My brother um, made this. A lot of people think it's a sunflower, but 
it's actually just supposed to be a sun. And, and then my mom, if you look closely, this one has like little hearts in it for the little dots. So she drew that one.